Hey everyone, and welcome to the next Robotal Wars update. So 1.5 has finished recording and I'd say that it went pretty well. I don't want to overhype it because I feel that's a common problem, um, but a lot of teams were very happy with the fights that happened. It's now down to me to get the editing done, but hopefully when the 1.5 episodes come out, you'll enjoy it. At least that's my hoping. Um, so hopefully that'll be good for you. But now with this, that now that 1.5 is, you know, in the home stretch, it's time to discuss Rebottle Wars 2.0. As I stated in the last update, I want to try and open Rebottle Wars 2.0 a little bit more up. Keep in mind it's still going to be very much selective, but I want to leave the door open so that people may come in. But to do that. I have to get the rule book out. Okay, so while this is going to get a bit humdrum at points, please stick around um, as I go through the rules. <clears throat> rule number one, there will now be two weight classes. There will be a super heavyweight tournament at 1,200 and a cruiserweight tournament at 600. Rule number two, we reserve the right at any point to deny a robot. This can be for potential issues, rule breaking, low effort, or any other reason. It's nothing it's not personal. personal. It's just business. And rule number three, the only cheap bot parts that we're allowing are the overkill motor and the flat motor. In terms of specific rules, teeth limits for the super heavyweights are four large typhoons or six small typhoons with no mixing and matching. With the cruiserweights, it's two large typhoons and four small typhoons. Once again, no mixing and matching. In terms of hammer spinners, the hammerhead and tenderizer are limited to four on a spinner. 30 kilogram sledgehammers are limited to three on a spinner. All the rest, whether they be lighter or heavier, are banned currently. Again, no mixing and matching. Obviously, when it comes to hammers, all up, all of the regular hammers and axes are still fair game with regular swinging hammer and axe bots. You can still pick to have an overly heavy hammer on your swinging hammer bot because obviously it doesn't have the same advantages as opposed to a Son of Waiachi style spinner. Rule number three, no teeth on drums, just none. Typhoon drums are not happening and we're pretty much extending that to all teeth. Uh, the teeth limit, by the way, is pretty much the same for almost all of the other teeth as well. You know, so to answer your question there. Rule number four, no damaging parts on rammers. We feel that there are several viable alternatives to this, such as wedgeless. There's just no need for it. Rule number five, keep things to the IRL rule set when it comes to clipping. Essentially, just avoid clipping when possible. Obviously, we know nobody's perfect, but if we feel that, it, once again, we, res, we refer to rule two, if we feel that the clipping is a bit too much. Uh, rule number six, do not stack. We're serious about this. Stacking components gives you an unfair advantage and it is cheating. This is something that we will not stand for in this tournament. If you are caught stacking and we believe that it was intentional to gain an unfair advantage, the robot will be banned from competition and yourself could also be banned from competition. This includes the tournaments of 2.0 and future tournaments. Skirts are only allowed for dustpans, nothing else. Essentially, these are fine for wedges, these are not. When it comes to flippers, it's three burst motors such as VDMAs or two beaters at max for flippers. In for no mixing and matching. For the super heavyweights at least. If for the cruiserweights, it's two VDMA bursts or one beater for flippers. Again, no mixing and matching. And rule number nine, while there is no definitive line when it comes to hammers and axes, please don't go mental. You know, Awot and Knighthood are good examples of where to go if you wish to make a multi-headed axe. If you want to go heavier, it's preferable that you stick to single-handed weaponry. If you wish to make a case such as multiple weapon motors for your double sledgehammer, then we refer to our, to our second general rule, which is we have the final say on if a robot can get in or not. 
once again, like, unless mentioned otherwise, Cruiserweight and Super Heavyweight rules are essentially the same and are just generally reliant on your common sense and your sportsmanship. This tournament is meant to be for fun first and foremost, so while I know that a lot of you want to try and win, please keep in mind that we that this is primarily a tournament for fun more than anything else. And it and part of that relies on you playing fair and not bending the rules. Another f another thing is that there are weight bonuses in the super heavyweight division, not in the cruiserweights currently because the cruiserweights were just trying to get off the ground for 2.0, but for the super heavyweight there are two ways to get a weight bonus. That is either by making a walker or a shuffler. Now with a walker robot, you have to do it like this example that Ned has made. This involves a singular point of contact with each leg, and if you can do it to our satisfaction like in this example, you will get a weight bonus allowing you to build that robot up to 1,700. Now for the little details, the tournament is going to be a double elimination tournament. Seeds are going to be getting buys into the second round. There are 96 open slots in the Super Heavyweight tournament and 32 for the Cruiserweight tournament. This means that a person can have a maximum of 3 Super Heavyweight robots accepted and 1 Cruiserweight robot. This, this is a maximum accepted as you might likely get less than that in, keep in mind. And of course, seeded robots are not subject to this rule, so if you see a person get four robots in, which is extremely unlikely, then there's a good chance that one of those robots was seeded. Well, it's guaranteed, in fact. Now that we've gotten all the menial rules out of the way, I just want to say I'm personally extremely excited to see what you all have in mind for Rebuttal Wars if you intend to enter, and if you do, please get in contact with either me or Ned on Discord. This is Ned's Discord handle, and here's my own. There'll be a link to the Discord server as well, but if you wish to put down that you are interested in Rebuttal Wars, in entering Rebuttal Wars 2.0, please privately message either one of us. You can either give us a screenshot, the bot file, or just the written idea of what you intend to build. Although, keep in mind, we obviously can't accept you until we have the bot file. Anything else is just more of a case of, you know, oh, you know, of us acknowledging that you do want to get into the tournament. Once we have all of the bot files of people who wish to enter, what we're going to then do is we're going to get into a call, lay out all of the robots, and find out which 96 Super Heavyweight robots are getting in and which 32 Cruiserweight robots are getting in. I can't wait to see the variety of robots that are going to be put forth. Keep in mind, by the way, Rebuttal Wars is a primarily for fun tournament, so while it's perfectly fine if you wish to enter one of your very competitive robots, I'm going to say, if you can give us something that is completely different, bring something new to the table, I will love and cherish you till the end of time! Anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, point is, feel free to submit robots and we will let you know at a later date if any of your robots have been accepted. Honestly, I hope you all enjoy 1.5 when it comes out and hopefully you'll like 2.0 once developments start coming along for that. Once again, please PM us on Discord if you are in fact interested in regards to Rebuttal Wars 2.0. Anyway, I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 3D... No, I gotta get back to work on Rebuttal Wars 1.5 which you'll hopefully see in the very close future. Things are looking quite nice, pers you know, I'm personally quite optimistic in regards to Rebuttal Wars future. Once again, I'm not going to pretend that Rebuttal Wars is going to be amazing, but I'm at least happy at with the work that I'm doing. So from me to everyone, so to everyone watching, once again, thank you for watching and hopefully you'll enjoy what's to come. I'm the Dominus Cygnus and Remember to subscribe to Good Rebol, subscribe to the Dominus Ignis while you're at it, we're nearly at 700 subscribers, and we'll see you very soon. Be sure to check out the BattleBots pack if you haven't already.